Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on Kafka for beginners and in this video we will learn about consumer group in Kafka so consumer group plays a very important role in Kafka ecosystem and if you want to design a very scalable architecture using Kafka then you need to know about consumer group in the previous video we have seen that what is a consumer in Kafka but in this video we'll understand about the consumer group consumer group can be defined as logical grouping of one or more consumer so basically when you group together one or more consumers then it logically forms a consumer group it is mandatory for a consumer to register itself to a consumer group so we have also understood in the previous video that if you are writing a new consumer then it is mandatory for the consumer to register itself to a consumer group and if no consumer group is provided then internally kafka will create a random consumer group let's say there is a consumer instance c1 then it cannot exist independently which means what it always needs a consumer group so that it can exist in the kafka environment now let's say there is another consumer instance that is c1 and if it is assigned to a consumer group a then it can exist in the kafka ecosystem and it can consume messages from the kafka topic partition consumer instances are separate process which means what they run independently when you write a consumer and when you run that consumer then that particular consumer behaves as a separate process consumer instance of same consumer group can be on different node now this is a very important concept that you need to understand as we know that in production environment we always use more than one broker for our, for our kafka cluster and basically these brokers are distributed across different geo environment or geo clusters now let's say we have three consumer instances in a consumer group so what we are taking as an example that there is a consumer group and that consumer group has three consumer instances which means which means what three consumers are consuming from a particular topic so i'll just explain it here that let's say there is node one so this is a separate machine which is on uh, a different location and there is another machine that is node two which is also present on in in a different location now let's say you have three consumer instances so i'm writing here three consumer instances so the consumer instance can be present on node 1 then the consumer instance c2 can be present on node 2 and the consumer instance c3 can be present on node 1 it is very important for you to understand that if you are creating consumer instances inside a kafka cluster then the consumer instances which belong to the same consumer group can exist on different machines it is not that all the consumer instances for a consumer group will be present on a single machine because we are using kafka cluster so it is distributed we'll take an example here that let's say you are having a single topic and that topic has one partition and you are writing only one consumer so in that case what will happen all the messages will be published to the p0 partition so we are taking the partition name as p0 so all the messages will be published to this p0 partition so i'm describing here that we are having a topic and that topic has a single partition p0 and it is present on a single cluster that is the cluster has a single machine so in that case what will happen this is the topic and there is a publisher so this publisher will do what all the messages will be published to p0 partition so this publisher is publishing all the messages only to p0 because there is no other partition now what will happen all the messages will be consumed by c1 so c1 is a consumer instance which is present inside this consumer group a so in that case all the messages will be consumed by this c1 consumer instance now let's try to prove this point so what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to uh, look into my kafka cluster so this is self -taught. so this cluster we have already uh, done the installation process in previous videos and currently what is there there is only one topic and there is only one broker so this topic is what it is basically the consumer offset that is by default created by the kafka cluster now i'm going to create a topic here and the name of the topic will be registered user so in our example what we are talking there is a single partition in a topic so the number of partition that I'm going to create is what it will be single. So I've created it, go to topic view. And if I come here, so you can see there is a single partition that is partition zero. Now what we are going to do is we are going to write a consumer instance and then we'll try to consume it from P0 partition or this topic only. So I'll go to my IntelliJ idea. And in the previous videos, we were here 
in this code. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to modify some of the code and the code will be what I'm going to remove this partitioner which we have added in the previous videos. So I will uh, ask my Kafka producer to, con to push messages to any partition whichever it needs to and I'm not giving any partitioner. Okay, so this I'm just removing the old code. Also, I'm going to explain this code that what I have written here. So, okay. So now what happens here is that I am creating a Kafka producer, which is connected to this bootstrap server, which means what this is the publisher. And this is basically the Kafka topic, which is present inside the this broker that is 192.168.0.10, which is running on my local machine. And then I'm creating a message which is get registered user and this get registered method is present where it is present inside this data model which we have created previously so if i go here then it is using what it is using a faker module of python which helps us to generate fake data so every time there is a random data so we are generating a data of user registration that contains name address and created it so i'll go here to the producer.py and our producer is uh, looking fine that we are sending messages to this Kafka broker and there's a JSON serializer because we want to serialize the message and then only we can send. So what we are doing, we are just doing, doing a JSON dump of the data and we are encoding it with UTF-8. Fine. So we got this registered user, then I'm printing the registered user and then I'm calling the send method on this producer instance. So I'm calling producer.send and then registered user and then this registered user now i will write a new file here that is the consumer so i'll just create a new python file and the name of the python file will be consumer.py and in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to import the kafka consumer so i'll say from kafka import kafka consumer fine so i'm importing the kafka consumer and i'm also importing the json mm -hmm. json module now what I'm going to do here is I will just say that if name underscore underscore name is equal to equal to underscore underscore bean so that I can run this file and this particular code will run. I will create a consumer. So I'll say consumer will be equal to Kafka consumer and this will require this will require some parameter. So the first parameter is what? It is the topic from where we are going to consume the message. So I'll just say registered user because I'm going to consume the message from that particular use, uh, topic. So basically the topic name that I have written here is registered user. So I'm writing in my code that we are going to consume the message from this registered user topic. So I think the spelling is correct or I'll just copy it from here. So I'll copy it. And I'm going to come here and I'm just going to paste it. So it is fine. After that, what we need to do, we need to uh, make the Kafka consumer understand that from which bootstrap server we are going to consume the message. So we'll just say bootstrap server. So we'll say bootstrap and then servers is equal to what we will assign the IP address. So I'm going to say 192.168.0.10 and then 9092 so this is the local kafka instance that i'm running if you are having some an another instance like on cloud or something then you can provide here now i'm going to assign a new value that is what auto offset and then reset so this will help the consumer to consume message either from the starting point or the latest so what i'm saying i'm saying it is earlier so that you can consume from the starting that okay uh, this consumer will start and it will start to consume from the first message that is published in the topic and when the topic is being published then what will happen there is a consumer offset topic which is present inside the kafka which is created by default from the kafka and that will st store the kafka this consumer offset for every partition which has been consumed by the consumer. So basically when the consumer will start to consume the message, then what will happen? Kafka internally maintains a consumer offset partition where it will store all the data for that particular consumer that up to which offset this consumer has consumed the data so that when again it will start, then it can start consume, uh, consuming after that particular 
offset from where it stopped last time so we'll see it uh, don't worry that uh, it is a very easy concept that you will understand then what i'm going to do i'm going to provide it a group id because we have discussed that we need a group id so i will say that it is consumer group a so i'll just say consumer group a you can provide any name whatever you want i'm just providing it consumer group a so i'm giving a group id also fine up to here it is okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to do just a print write that is starting the consumer and after that i am going to print the message so we can just say for message in consumer so because we have created a consumer instance so we can just say for message in consumer print what i'll just say registered user okay because we are publishing message regarding a registration user registration which we have created here so we'll be publishing messages for this user registration and then we'll consume the user registered so i will say user registered is equal to and then we'll format the data so the data dot format and because when we are sending the data so what we have done we have serialized it so now what we'll do we'll just deserialize it so we'll say json dot loads and then the data so message dot value so message dot value is the value which will be present inside the message so again i'll show you in the producer what we are doing before sending the data we are serializing it so we are dumping the data with json which means we are serializing it so when we are consuming the message so what we are going to do we are going to deserialize it by using json dot loads this consumer is fine i think we are just taking consumer we are saying that okay from this topic we are going to consume what is the bootstrap server okay this is the bootstrap server which is the locally i am running and then we are saying that whenever you start uh, and you are a new consumer then start consuming from the earliest then what we are also providing a group id so everything is fine now what i'm gonna do is i am going to run this consumer from here so i will say python and then consumer.py so what this is going to do this has started starting the consumer fine now you can see there is no message uh, getting printed because there is no message inside our kafka partition so i'm going to see here the registered mm -hmm. user and there is no partition there, there is no message in the partition also what i'm going to show here is the consumer consuming from this topic so there is no consumer that is consuming from this particular topic it has not started so it is not getting listed here now what i'm going to do i'm going to start my producer so i will come here and then i'll just say run so you can see on the right hand side it will start to consume and on the bottom here it will try to produce so see theresa crawford and here you can see registered user is coming on the right hand side it is consumer and it is producer so three user is there and three users are here so you can see it will just produce and it will consume it will just produce and it will consume so what is happening here the publisher or the producer is sending the messages to this partition and the consumer is consuming the message so this consumer is c1 which we have just run python consumer.py now we'll go to our kafka manager here and if i reload it then you can see that okay the latest offset is eight which means eight messages had been published and here you can see consumer consuming from this topic so this is consumer group a if i go here then there is some data that is what is the consumer instance owner so when you're starting the consumer it got a random consumer uh, id or name so consumer group is common consumer group a but you got one only so it is basically a random consumer instance id but the consumer group is the name that we have provided again if i come here and reload it you can see the number of offset is 17 and if i count here also if i come here so you can say 18 messages have been read so now see 17 is here if it is 19 and if i go here so it is 19 messages have been read there's a lag one which means when we reloaded it this was not read if i do it it will again increase so it is all the messages which are being published to this partition is getting read by this consumer instance if you see the partition also i'll go to this consumers uh, not consumer self turds here then there are two topics i'll go to this registered user if you see there is a single partition p0 all the messages are being published here and all the messages are being read by this consumer so in the scenario of one topic one partition one consumer the publisher will publish all the messages to this topic partition and the consumer c1 will take that 
messages and it will print it what we have written here so message is being sent from here and it is printed here so i hope that you have understood this concept when there is one partition and one consumer then how your kafka uh, ecosystem is behaving so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you